a tale of traps and terror. Editor Lirius had landed what he thought was a dream gig, editing videos for the popular YouTuber H2O Delirious. It was an opportunity too good to pass up, a chance to work alongside a gaming legend and bring his own editing skills to the spotlight. The work was intense, long hours cutting and crafting footage, but editor Lirius was eager to prove himself. Yet as the deadlines got tighter and Delirious' demands grew more intense, he began to sense an undercurrent of something darker lurking beneath Delirious' friendly, mask-clad persona. The dim light flickered overhead as editor Lirius stirred awake, his head pounding and his limbs aching. His eyes fluttered open to the stench of damp concrete and the bitter cold of metal restraints cutting into his wrists. He tried to move, but the chains bolted to the wall held him firmly in place. The basement was grim, a rusted relic from another time, the kind of place that smelled of mildew, blood, and fear. From the far corner of the room, he could hear the faint drip of water echoing against stone walls. Slowly, his groggy mind began to piece together what had happened. H2O delirious, he whispered under his breath. He had been working tirelessly, editing hours upon hours of footage for Delirious' latest video. One night, as he was finishing up, something heavy had hit him from behind. Then, darkness. But now he was awake, chained, trapped. And worst of all, the man he had considered a friend and boss had done this to him. The faint creak of a door from upstairs caught his attention, and the heavy thud of boots descending the stairs made his blood run cold. The figure that appeared was unmistakable, H2O Delirious, wearing his signature mask, his face hidden behind that familiar grin. Well, 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 Delirious said with a chuckle that echoed sinisterly around the room. You've been slacking, Editor Lirius, and I thought a little motivation might be necessary. Editor Lirius tried to speak, to plead, but the words caught in his throat. Delirious wasn't here to listen. He was here to watch. Delirious reached into his pocket, pulling out a small remote. See, down here, it's all about survival, and I've set up a little game for you, just like in the videos, except this time, it's real. He pressed a button, and the sound of grinding metal filled the room. The floor beneath Editor Lirius shifted, revealing a trap door beneath his feet. The chains around his wrists loosened just enough for him to stand, but not escape. He hesitated for a moment, glancing down into the gaping hole. Below, sharp spikes jutted upward, glistening in the dim light. You have two choices, Delirious said, his voice cold. Stay here and rot, or solve my puzzle. If you make it, you're free. If not, well, I guess we'll find out. The trapdoor closed again, but the message was clear. Delirious wasn't going to let him go without making him suffer first. Across the room, a monitor flickered to life. On the screen, Dead Squirrel, one of Delirious' close friends, was strapped to a table. His eyes were wide with terror as he struggled against the restraints. If you want to escape, Editor Lirius, Delirious explained, you'll have to make a choice. To unlock the first door, you need a code. The code is inside Dead Squirrel, but the only way to get it is to take it. Editor Lirius' heart raced. You can't be serious. Oh, I am, Delirious said, his tone light but menacing. Dead Squirrel's life, or yours, you decide. The monitor flickered off, and the room fell silent. Editor Lirius knew what he had to do. The chains released, and he stumbled toward a door on the other side of the room. It creaked open, revealing Dead Squirrel lying motionless on the table, his breathing shallow. A small surgical blade rested on a tray beside him. I'm sorry, 
Editor Lirius whispered, gripping the blade with trembling hands. Dead Squirrel's eyes widened in fear, but Editor Lirius couldn't hesitate. He needed to survive. With a quick motion, he cut into Dead Squirrel's side, searching for the code Delirious had hidden. The pain in his chest, both physical and emotional, was unbearable. But he found it, a small piece of paper sewn into Dead Squirrel's flesh. Dead Squirrel's labored breathing slowed and then stopped. Editor Lirius backed away, guilt gnawing at him. But there was no time for regret. He punched the code into the keypad next to the door, and it swung open with a low hiss. But freedom wasn't waiting on the other side. Instead, the next room was darker, filled with the hum of machinery and a large cage in the center. Inside the cage, Kyle, another YouTuber, was trapped, his arms and legs bound to the corners. Above him, a series of saw blades dangled ominously. Here's the next challenge, Delirious voice echoed over a speaker. There are two levers. Pull one, and you free Kyle. But the blades come down on you. Pull the other, and the blades stop. But Kyle stays locked in that cage forever. The decision weighed heavily on editor Lirius' mind. He couldn't save them both. His hands shook as he approached the levers, sweat dripping down his face. He knew Kyle was counting on him, but editor Lirius' survival instinct kicked in. He pulled the lever to save himself. The cage door slammed shut as the blades retracted. Kyle screamed, banging against the bars, but editor Lirius turned away, unable to face him. Good choice, Delirius said, but don't worry. You're not done yet. The next door opened, and Editor Lirius found himself in a narrow corridor. At the far end was a stairway that led to the outside. Freedom. But between him and that stairway was a gauntlet of traps. Swinging axes, flamethrowers, and spiked pits. Editor Lirius took a deep breath, stealing himself for what lay ahead. He sprinted forward, ducking under the axes as they swung dangerously close. The flames licked at his skin, burning his arm, but he pushed through the pain. Finally, with a leap, he cleared the last pit and stumbled toward the stairs. His heart raced as he climbed the steps, feeling the cool night air on his face for the first time. He had done it. He had survived. But as he reached the top, a shadowy figure blocked his path. Going somewhere? A familiar voice asked. Editor Lirius froze. It was Cartoons, another YouTuber, and Delirius' closest friend. Before Editor Lirius could react, a heavy blow to the back of his head sent him sprawling. His vision blurred as he struggled to stay conscious. The last thing he saw was Cartoons, dragging him back toward another basement, this one even darker than Delirious. You didn't think it was over, did you? Cartoons chuckled as he locked the door behind them. We have our own games to play. And as the door slammed shut, Editor Lirius realized that his nightmare had only just begun. 